Yo, what's going on, everyone? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and I am your coach of the New York Noibats. We are going up against Zidane, aka Drive, in the Minnesota Vika Volts. And, um, I just ran up the stairs, <laughs> so I'm a little winded. I'm also nervous, so I do apologize. Um, and, uh, we're just gonna do normal battle, single, single, single battle. And, um, I'm gonna select my team. So, I just want to say have fun to Dan because, uh, it's, it's really just, I don't want to have, stre like, stress playing Pokemon. I want to have fun. And I was really stressed, like, coming up to this battle. So, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. We have a, uh, Scarf Blastoise with Water Spout. And, uh, we're just gonna try to have fun. I know it's the playoffs. It should be taken a little bit more seriously, but I want to, I want to have fun. I want to have fun. I mean, it does do some work. So, we're gonna see what he has. Um, he has the B drill this time. And, um, no Tapu Koko, so that's, that's interesting. He has the Bronzong, okay. Bronzong might try to lead here. Bronzong might try to lead here. Um, who would he lead with? That's the real question. I really just want to lead off with um with my Blastoise, but I want to keep that for late game. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Crobat lead, I think. But if he leads Bronzong, um, what do I do? Maybe I lead um, Hariyama. I think I'm going to lead Hariyama. And just click fake out. I'm gonna go lead Hariyama, click fake out. So I knew the Beedrill would come. I didn't think the Latias would come. I didn't I did not expect the Latias to um to come. But if I can weaken the Latias and the Primarina and the, the Bronzong just slightly, um, we can kinda clean up with uh with Blastoise. Granted he didn't, you know, um like Granted, he's speed creeping a Crobat with his Mega Vidro. So have fun, Dan. I'm really, um, really excited to be battling again. I'm uh, definitely one of those people that I looked up to in draft format for a very long time. So it's very um, nice to be battling you again. This is two times I feel, I feel excited and feel very happy. So he's just gonna lead off with that thing. Um, so I'm gonna click Fake Out. I'm gonna click fake out on this thing. Um, that's terrifying to just lead off with. I can live a um, return. I can live a return. I did calc this, so. And I am guts. So if I do get flame body burned, this isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay. So now I don't really have the best switches to this thing. Um, I could go out into the Raikou. Could go out to the Raikou here. Um, because I am AV as well. Um, he might just go for like the U-turn or something. I could go for like knockoff. Could go for like knockoff. Yeah, maybe if I go for knockoff, it'll just get rid of a Charty Berry or something. I can live any one hit. But then if he's like Z-move or something, then we're in a bit of a pickle. So I'm going to go out into the Raikou here, because I am AV. Um, he might just go for the U-turn. We're going to see what he has. Goes for the U-turn. All right. So I think he's playing this game much better as far as his momentum goes. Um, if he goes out into Diggersby, we can kind of just scout to see if it's Scarfed or not. Mm. 
we can kind of see just like if it's scarfed or not. Um, and again, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think he is scarfed. I really think he's scarfed. I'm gonna go for the hidden power here, but I want to confirm that he's scarfed. He's not scarfed. I'm going for the hidden power. Return is going to knock me out here, but we're gonna do a good amount of damage to that thing, so that's good. But the good thing about this is that I can kind of just go out into Blastoise and then double out. I can double out because he has to go out into Primarina, I think. And if I go out into, if I do that, and double out, um, I can, um, I can kind of just, I can kind of go out to Tapu Bulu, I think. So it's a big, it's a big risk, but I think it's a really solid play. I think it's a really solid play. Because I think Primarina comes in. But maybe I should just go for it, like Water Spout, just to see how much it does. So if I get rid of, I mean, if I get rid of this thing, that's great. But I think Primarina really comes in here. If Primarina comes in, I would love to go out to Tapu Bulu. I would... But maybe he's thinking, oh, I don't want my thing to get toxic. All right, I'm just gonna click Water Spout. He might be thinking, I should have, I should have pulled the double. I should have pulled the double. Ah. All right, so we're gonna go just click Water Spout here and see how much this thing does. It that looks like I don't think that's A B. It might be A B. So I'm gonna just put in my Blastoise set. I should have gone out to Tapu Bulu. I should have trusted my gut. Should have gone out to Tapu Bulu to um, a Primarina. Uh, water spout. Mm, it doesn't look like it looks like it might. It's not. It's not AV. Um, it looks like that is more so. Um, it looks like it has some bulk, but it's not assault vest at this time. So with that being said, we're probably gonna take like a choice specs something, probably a moon blast, or even an energy ball. So I'm gonna go out into my crowbat here, because um, whether it's a whether it's energy ball or whether it is um, a moon blast, we resist both of those. It goes for the scald, um, and that is going to do over half. So I'm gonna just U-turn out here, I think. I think I'm gonna U-turn out. I think he's choice. I think he's choice. That skull did 100 damage to me. So if I type in my Crobat set here, and like I said, I'm just trying to have fun, guys. I'm so I. If you guys are asking me why I'm calcing, I'm just it's out of curiosity more so than um than wanting to be super competitive about it. The skull did about the eight. No. 70 percentage so all right so we do get we do get a crit on that u-turn so that's decent um i guess and now what i could do is i can go out into my hariyama and just kind of click um knock off here and then see out for items it does okay so he has the leftovers so that means i can just go for the knockoff pretty easily here um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click knock off and it'll do a good amount of damage to pretty much anything. I think he's right, so he's probably gonna get up rocks here. That's a crit. I saw it's I suck. I suck. I suck. Alright. That that's horrible. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Do I, I, oh, that's that's bad. I'm, I don't want to be the I, I don't want to be known as that guy that just always crits Dan. Crit two fan eight, guys. Just that's that's my new name. That's my new name. Crit two fan eight. Ah, 
I'm I'm just I don't want to be known as that guy that just crits Dan. Like I just that's gonna be my reputation now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be known as anything else in the Pokemon community. I wish I had rocked him on this thing. I really thought that there was a good chance that he could bring Don Fan. Um or the other thing. Or the Primeape. Surprised I didn't see either of those. Considering I don't have Mega Scissor this time around, um, it's it's interesting because last time I won with um the the Mega Scissor and I didn't bring it this time, so I really wanted I was really expecting him to like prep very hard for the scissor, but I don't know if it like matters. So I think um I don't know if this thing is gonna have a psychic move to hit me with. Knockoff should still do a good amount of damage. Because last time it didn't have Psychic coverage, so I'm just going to go for Knockoff again. He does have Psychic, but I am AV, so we should um, take that pretty well. It does do less than half. There's, we go for Knockoff, and uh, it does do over half to him. So that's good to know. So the fact that we didn't knock off an item means that he is a Z user. So I can click Knockoff again and it will kill. If he goes for Psychic again, unless he goes for Shattered Psyche, he probably won't knock me out. But if he goes for, like, Dragonium Z or something like that, he might knock me out. Um... Alright, so I'm gonna go for the knockoff again, I think. I don't like the fact that I'm getting weakened here, but I kind of just... Alright, so knockoff comes out again. Goes out to Fox. Knocked off the Charty Berry. Okay. That's pretty bulky. That's extremely bulky. So the next one won't do as much. He might go for the Roost here. As a matter of fact, I think he does go for Roost. So like, it's it's very it's like very high risk here, very high risk. Um, if I go into Crobat here, because I can't let him just go for like roosts on me. Um, and I can't let Blastoise take a hit either. So I kind of have to go out into Crobat, but I can't also safely switch out into Crobat because if I take Stealth Rocks and then take a hit, then I die. Um, so I think I just have to play the knockoff game until um until um, something happens. So he goes for Air Slash here. So, good thing I didn't switch out. Um, do go for Knock Off again. Uh, he probably has the Roost. It's gonna... It's gonna be tough. If he goes for Roost here, he does go for Roost. I should have switched out. There's the, there's the guts, but it doesn't matter because he'll knock me out. If he, unless he misses an air slash. Unless he misses an air slash. So we do, I mean, we do get the guts boost, but it's not, it's no bueno. Because he's going to knock me out here anyway. Man, he is really just trying to get all his health back. Alright, so he, he might know that I'm guts now because I'm going to hit him with a guts knockoff. So now he, he's just going to go for the um, the fire move, because it's probably safe for him. Alright, I'm going to go for the knockoff here. Alright, so he goes for that. I could go, I can go out into um, Blastoise and do a good amount of damage, but I kind of want to go out into Crobat and, and just get, defog these rocks away. I'm going to defog these rocks away because Bronzong's gone. I'm just going to click defog. Defog these rocks away. Um, 
keep Blastoise healthy. I think that's the best play. He goes for Fire Blast, he connects, he lands it. Beautiful animation. Took out my all my health. So now I'm just gonna go out into Blastoise here. Then I'm, I'm gonna pull the double. I am going to pull the double. And um and I'm going out into Tapu Bulu. Now, super high risk, but I think it's very rewarding um, if I do get this play. If I do get this play right, it is super rewarding. Super high risk. Super rewarding. I don't, like, I think he knows that I'm scarfed here. Like, I think he has to know that I'm scarfed. I think he has to know that I'm scarfed here. He saw Water Spout. I think Choice Scarf Water Spout has to be going through his mind. I think he has to switch. What he switches out into a Scarf Water Spout into, I, I can't think of anything. Um, maybe the Latias. So, I am faster, so I might have been... I might... Alright, let's see what he goes for. He predicted! He predicted! Oh, man. Was he really just gonna let that thing die? What? What? Oh, man. He predicted that. Wow, Dan is clutch. Okay. Um... I can still get some kills off. But unfortunately, I can't do anything. Um with Bulu anymore, it's too weak. Uh, I guess I can click Rock Tomb. I can't let, you know. Um, can I let Pilots 1 take a hit? No, I'm, I'm not gonna let Pilots 1 take a hit. Alright, so I'm just gonna click Rock Tomb here. Super unfortunate. He doesn't miss an Air Slash, so um, he does knock out the Bulu here. Super, super unfortunate. Super, super unfortunate. Moltres just kind of do, doing the work to me. Kind of just doing the work to me. Um, I overpredicted there. I should have just gone for the water spout. I'm going for the water spout now. And now he probably switches out. Dan is a pro player. This is why Dan is a champion. This is why he's a GBA champion. That's why I believe he won the, the NPA Season 3. I think I, I think he did. So he's just going to sack off the grab it here, um, and he's probably going to get a safe switch into the pre Marina. But super, super good play. He got rid of my one answer to the pre Marina, and now that this thing is just going to destroy my life. It's going to destroy my life. Um, so that is a very, that's a good game, Dan. I had a lot of fun. That was a quick one. Uh, he got his revenge, hashtag revenge drive in the comment section down below, guys. Um, <laughs> I think that's, I just came up with that on the spot. Hashtag Revenge Drive, I like that. Um, and then he goes for the Energy Ball, and it's boosted in the terrain. Yo, Dan is so good, guys. So I want you guys to go and um, make sure that you guys just say, <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't think of anything clever anymore. I can't think of any more A-Drive puns. So um, we're just going to take this 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 L, and, um, and we're going to be, um, and be, uh, be it not really a shame because we had a great season but we um what well, we're gonna be happy for dan because he did get his um he did get his revenge he got his revenge so um we're just gonna go for the rock tomb there's the energy ball that should knock me out it, it is terrain boosted and um uh, okay so it doesn't knock me out go for the rock tomb and i'm just curious to see if we outspeed still i don't think we do Use that minus one. It's just a little tech. Just want to show off that I had a rock tomb. I think he still outspeeds me. But I'm going to go for the rock tomb again anyway. No? Okay. Go for rock tomb again. And that is going to be GG. So um, good game to Dan. Um, that was a lot of fun. Not too much hacks or anything like that. So um, it was a really good season. We had a really nice run. Um, I wish you the best of luck in the rest of your playoffs, Dan. Um, and for you, the viewers, um, thank you guys again for supporting me throughout this season. 
Um, it, it was it was been ama- it's been amazing. We went from like 500 subs to like 850 subs. So you guys are awesome. Um, thank you all f- so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.